Good morning, members of Bethlehem Lutheran Church. I come to you today with an update uh, for Easter Sunday. And number one, how we will be worshiping. And number two, how we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper. Number one, worshiping. We will be able to come to the church parking lot. Unfortunately, we cannot join together in the sanctuary, nor can we join together at the outdoor amphitheater. But rather, you'll be coming to the church parking lot, staying in your inside your car, and you will be able to drive through a series of stations showing you and depicting for you uh, what Christ was doing that Holy Week, that, those last couple of days before uh, Good Friday, before he ultimately will rise again on the third day where he can forgive our sins where he'll bring life to death and where he will proclaim victory over the devil himself as he rises on that third day. So, you, uh, and of course, all that is weather permitting. Uh, so please stay tuned for updates. You know, the weather seems to say that we might get some rain this week. Uh, so please stay tuned for updates. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see the church webpage at www.bethlehem.com williampenn.org. We'll have updates on the webpage, including the instructions that I'm giving to you this morning in this video. Uh, we'll be on that webpage, as well as many other different ways that I will come to you through videos, through member callers, through phone calls, emails, um, you name it. I'm going to try and, and exhaust all my options of, of being in touch with you. Uh, so number two, uh, preparing for the Lord's Supper, and there is indeed some pre preparation uh, to be done. Uh, number one, of course, is you want to prepare yourself by confessing your sins to your Lord um, throughout this week, uh, receiving his forgiveness. And number two, uh, preparation is that on Holy Saturday, that day in between Good Friday and Easter Sunday, You'll come to the church and you'll be picking up several different things. The first one is you're going to pick up a little baggie that has five communion cups in it and ten communion wafers in it. Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Pastor, that looks good. You know, we've fi perhaps have figured that part out of, of it out, but what about the wine, the body of or the blood of Christ, right? Well, you'll also be able to pick up a bottle of communion wine. Uh, that will have been prepared for you. This bottle that you'll receive has the screw top lid to it so that uh, you can ensure that it's not going to spill out and make a mess in your car. Uh, so you'll be able to pick up those two things. Uh, you probably also want to bring some kind of plate or napkin for yourself that as you, the, you prepare your own little holy uh, communion table inside your car, you can set that on, on. You can set the communion on it, and then be able to distribute it to yourself and to anybody else who is in your car. And remember, those that have been confirmed in the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod are invited to come to the Lord's table uh, to receive the body and blood of Christ. Uh, so, standing off about 10, 12 feet from the car, from your car, you have your windows down. I will be utilizing the new church's outdoor sound system that was so generously donated to the church by one of our members. It works great, by the way. Uh, I used it for the first time on Palm Sunday for the, the service that we did out at the uh, gazebo by the cemetery. You probably didn't see it, but you could hear it. Hopefully the sound quality of that video was at a point where that worked well for you. And I'm still playing with all the, the gizmos and gadgets on it, so hopefully over time uh, I'll find even more uh, creative ways to utilize it and bring the, the word of the Lord to you. Uh, the, or the next thing that you're going to be able to pick up at the church on Holy Saturday is a little children's goodie bag uh, here. If you have children, uh, you can pick up a bag uh, for them. It has a, a variety of little things in it that will hopefully help them worship on, on Easter Sunday as well. And uh, unfortunately for our children, they're the ones that are suffering the most here. Maybe not necessarily getting sick and, and all that kind of a thing, but 
in terms of just trying to understand all of this, trying to make sense of it all. Why is school disrupted? Why is church life disrupted? Why is home life disrupted? And so hopefully this little goodie bag will also help make a meaningful impact for them as well, that even though life is in, it has been disrupted in various ways, that um, Christ has not been disrupted. Our worship life, our faith in Jesus may have changed ever so slightly in how we do things for the moment here, hopefully. But that Christ is still here with us and that he has not forsaken us, has not changed, and will never change. Christ has promised that he will be with us even till the end of the age in the Great Commission of the, at the end of St. Matthew. And so, uh, again, keep checking the church's webpage, which you'll see at the bottom of the screen here, that for instructions, for updates, for all that you will need to worship on Easter Sunday this year. All right, folks, have a good day, and I will talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.